I've just come out of a meeting at the council house where we had a cross-party discussion on what happened on August the 8th when the English Defence League came into Birmingham City Centre and we saw scenes of disorder. The English Defence League claimed they only came to protest against Islamic extremism, but actually they came to spread hatred and division. One of their ringleaders made his intentions very clear when he stated on Talk Sport Radio, I quote, his opposition to all Muslims practicing their faith in Britain and admitted links with the BNP. Great discussion. Uh, let me just un understand what you're saying then. You're saying that uh, every devout Muslim is uh, under instructions from their religion to convert people to Islam in this country, and that in your view then, every devout Muslim who follows the words of the teachings of the Quran is in your view uh, somebody seeking to undermine this country, and in your view is an Islamic extremist. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So when you have a demonstration on the streets of Birmingham and um, uh, on the streets of uh, Whitechapel in East London at the weekend, really it's a demonstration against all devout Muslims in this country. Um, yeah, you could say that really, yeah. Mm. Basically, let's not beat about the bush, yeah. Everyone has a right to their opinion, but no one has a right to incite hatred on the basis of faith or race. I am concerned that there is an equivalence being made between these people who came to provoke trouble and people who stand against fascism and racism. There is no equivalence and it is wrong that people have been allowed to come into the city centre with this intent for trouble. social disorder, especially scenes of violence between Muslim youth and white people, because then they can hold it up as evidence of the failure of multiculturalism. Of course, our message is, do not be provoked. We don't want to see any scenes of violence in our Birmingham city centre. But the reality is, they know some of these tactics have worked, as in the past in Burnley, Oldham and Stoke, where they instigated race riots, and since that polarisation, they have benefited in their votes. I believe the English Defence League so-called protests are simply a repeat of this formula which they want to bring to Birmingham and other cities across the country. I call on politicians from all parties, civic leaders and faith representatives to condemn the racist intent behind these so-called demonstrations and also call for the banning of any future protests in our city. Luton has also seen protests by the EDL and Casuals United which have resulted in violence and the police there have actually responded to public outcry about this by calling for a ban. Chief Superintendent Andy Frost, Divisional Commander for Luton Police said, The risk the proposed march is posed to public safety has left us with no alternative but to apply for a banning order. Alan Johnson, the Home Office Minister, granted this banning order in Luton because he received over 14,000 letters directly to himself and the Chief Constable there saying that they wanted a ban. I urge people in Birmingham to write to Alan Johnson as well as to the Chief Constable here to urge for a similar ban. I love being a Brummie. I'm proud that Birmingham is a multicultural and diverse city. Let's not be divided by the racists.